ladies and gentlemen, at the time of recording, I've just uploaded uh, the new G Zoom cooking show, uh, Drink Chicken. We're, we're blending chicken nuggets and drinking it. We were planning on doing it in a McDonald's for the joke, but we'll save you the stress because it's just, it's not going to be funny, funny enough. Feel, feel free if Happy. you want to. Come, my child. He's got permission. <laughs> if you haven't watched that yet, you should definitely go watch it instead of this video first because, I mean, that was a great success and this was an utter failure. So, um, yeah, that would definitely be a smarter viewing choice than this video if you haven't already seen that video. So basically, if you haven't seen uh, the video where I buy a 300 Australian dollar, well, where I buy this for $300 from a sketchy one-stop anime store that is two floors above a Hungry Jack's in this weird, creepy elevator. Uh, here's a clip from it. See on the right, that's the weird trap room. In my videos, I've made two trips to this store, um, once to buy that, and the second time I uh, tossed a chocolate Easter egg out a window while dressed up as a angry bird. Okay. No, I did not. <laughs> um. So anyway, me and my friends have always been fascinated by uh, how creepy and weird this elevator is. Um, we're just always wondering what the fuck is going on on the other levels. Like, honestly, if I wanted to start up a fucking human trafficking business, I would be on the fucking, like, floor zero of that elevator. So basically, this video is essentially, I mean, like, there's a reason it's on GZoom 2. We lost the footage of most of it. So, this video has about as much value as fucking Tana Mongu's video where she claimed to get fucked by a toothbrush at this point. It's a story time fucking video. That's why it's on GZoom 2 rather than GZoom Gaming. Uh, I just, I'm not uploading a video when I literally can't show you what I'm doing. I may as well be reading you a fictional story as far as you're aware. So anyway, I started off the video. We uh, we weren't planning on doing it that day. That wasn't why we went to the city. We just went to the city to buy some random crap. And then we decided, hey, we have nice, uh, we, we have nice phones with cameras on them. We may as well just do it today. So we did. At least we tried. Started off in the second floor of the Hungry Jacks, and I explained to you the plan that I've just explained to you now, and then we went to business. So the first floor was obviously just, you walk up the stairs, you're at the same level as the second level of the Hungry Jacks, and you walk into the elevator. Second floor, this lift is really weird. Uh, you could press buttons on it, and if there was nothing for it on that floor, or if you're just like not allowed in there, I'm not sure if like maybe if it works, if you have like a key or something, but you press the two button, the elevator doesn't move. So nothing on level two. On level three uh, is the anime store we mentioned. On level four, we found a tutoring office, but this footage was also lost. Level five was a hair salon. Um, we weren't too surprised by this because there was advertising for it in the elevator. You people. Oh, this is a niche hair salon. Level six also did not exist. You press the six button and the elevator doesn't move. The 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 six one doesn't fucking work. And on level seven, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, so basically we went to level seven. There was like a what even was it? Dance, dance studio. studio. There's a dance. And then doors closed on me. There's a dance me. studio. Someone's down here wanting to go up. And like, so then I got doors closed on me. Three Asian people found us and were just like, "Why are you recording?" And they got really fucking aggro. Yeah, it's like it's not that deep. Um, and on level four, we found a weird um, like tutoring office. Uh, yeah. So we'll see if we can go level six. I 
feel like we're now gonna have like fucking hitmen on us or something. Mm. I thought this elevator was gonna like, kill us. I think us. the worst case scenario. No, but they like took photos like of us. That's as bad as we thought shit. though. Yeah. Basically. I had to do the intro as well because I would have seen the videos. Uh. So yeah, this was the most craziest experience of the day. Fucking, we get to level 7, we open the door, there's a couch with a, like, diva pillow. Like, the the bunny rabbit that is all over diva's, like, style. And, um... There's also a reception desk. And then there's a door through to some just random rooms with a mirror at the back. So yeah, this was the dance studio, and um, it was interesting enough, it was really weird, we were gonna go, but stupidly enough we didn't catch, we didn't get back in the lift when it started to close, because we thought we'd just come back up, and also Lewis was in it. But the thing is, a bunch of fucking people um, were moving around in the elevator, so it went up and down, and because I'm a fucking loud retard, uh, I raised my voice, and three little Asian women came up and forced us to delete our footage. They also, they also managed to somehow conjure out of us saying, oh, we're just trying to explore the building, that we were building inspectors, which we never said. But, uh, that's, that's what fucking they decided. So they thought we were being deceitful, even though we fucking weren't. And, yeah, man, it was pretty fucking crazy, because in front of you there's three angry motherfuckers acting like they're gonna try and fucking call the cops on you. And then behind you there's an elevator that you can just hear fucking going up and down. I never thought I would seek salvation in that creepy elevator more than what I saw in front of me. It was pretty crazy, too, that the highest level, you know, the, the deepest you go into the insanity is where you get fucking mugged for your MP4 files. God damn. Um, but anyway, uh, that's why the recordings were fucked, because we were forced to delete them so that these motherfuckers didn't try to chase us, because admittedly, we could have put our phones in our pockets, stared at them, and waited for the lift to open, because, uh... They weren't exactly about to hurt us. They were quite tiny. But you never know. Um, so we deleted that shit. And we went and checked out levels 5, which you already saw. And um, we checked out level 3, which is the anime store and the trap room. And it turns out things had changed there. I, I actually feel genuinely uncomfortable after that. Yeah, yeah me too. Like, they, I don't know if they fucking took photos of us, and if they did, oh, what the I fuck? I feel like she turned the camera on me. I'm like, mm. no, no, but shut up, you won't even fucking know. But no, like, I guess fucking, we'll go and check out. Yeah, yeah we, we literally got like a whole bunch of fucking aggro Asian women, like fucking. They they took they took my fucking phone. <laughs> and started looking through my camera roll because I like, you fucking recording, you stupid little bitch. Oh fuck you. Fucking it's just about as creepy as we thought, but we didn't have. Yeah. Just surprising. Is this still quite it is some of something else now? This used to be the used to be escape room. This place is getting less creepy on the lower levels. So Conlon stopped recording when I walked into the anime store and I didn't understand why, so I asked him afterwards and it was because he actually noticed this laminated sign that had been there every other time that literally is like a, cro a, a camera crossed out in one of the don't fucking do this circles. Um, so uh, apparently we'd been broke breaking the store rules every other time. I mean, I'm pretty sure I literally had me giving the clerk money filmed the first time I went there on film so I guess they don't really care about that rule but maybe I should stop recording in there I think we've milked this funky elevator for everything it's worth it's a shame this video's footage got destroyed because if we actually had all the footage this possibly could have been a main channel video but nonetheless it wasn't 
So what did we learn about the creepy elevator today? On the first floor, there's a Hungry Jacks. Before you even get into the elevator. Then once you get into the elevator, you're on level 1. And then level 2 doesn't fucking exist. Level 3 is the anime store, and now the trap room has been replaced by some weird living room looking place. On level 4, there's a tutoring office. On level 5, there is a hair salon. There's nothing on level 6, and there's three angry chinks on level 7.